Hi, it's Justin here, and today we're going to do our first song, which is Always Be My Baby by David Cook. Now, uh, if you have not watched my tutorial video on how to use AnyTune Pro Plus or Slow Down Music Trainer, check out these links. Uh, I will need you to go and watch the tutorial on how, on how to use these programs before we proceed on the lesson. If you have good, um, let's just carry on to the song. I will talk about the chords we'll use and how to play along with it. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Now that you have uploaded the song into your program, we're now going to take a listen to the song. Um, if And to help you learn the song better, you need to download the chord chart as well. The link will be available here. So just uh, go and click on the link and download the chart if you need to print it out. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to listen to the song's strumming pattern first. So let's take a listen to it. seemed everlasting that you would always be mine now you want to be okay now what is the strumming pattern of the song if you need to listen to the song over and over again until you get the answer the more songs you learn the better you will get hearing this okay but let me give you the answer first based on a G chord the strumming pattern is like this where we strum once per beat. Okay, simple as that. This is a very simple song. So if you can't hear it, just follow what I'm doing and hopefully over the next few songs that we're going to learn, your hearing gets better. Now let's take a look at the chords in the first verse. That's when he starts singing. I want you to count the chords and let me know and try and guess how many beats does each chord last for before it changes. So let's get back to the top. I'll count you in for one. We were as one babe for a moment in time. And it seemed everlasting that you would always be mine. Now you wanna be free, yeah. So I'm letting you fly. Cause I know in my heart, babe, our love will never die. Okay, again, if you cannot hear the chords changing, just listen to the song over and over again. But I'll give you the answer now. Each chord, starting from the G in the verse, is going to be four beats. So four beats of G, four beats of E minor, four beats of C. Okay, but here's where it changes a bit. The A minor chord and the D chord are going to be two beats each. So you're going to play it twice and then you change to D. Okay, so make sure that you write it down if you can't remember. And then in the next portion, I'm going to show you how we're going to learn these new chords. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, now let's take a look at the chords in Always Be My Baby's verse. Okay, um, we have G. I'm sure everybody knows that chord. The next chord is going to be a new chord, and that's E, M. M will stand for minor and it's shown in the diagram below. How are we going to change to that chord? Let me show you an easy way. Using that middle finger over here, bring it over to the second fret below. As you can see, let me show that change again. You let go of all your fingers and take this finger and put it down there. Easy. That's E minor. We're going to use the first and second finger to change. Okay, let's go to the next chord. Our next chord is our regular C chord. Okay, I'm, I'm sure you also know this chord. The next chord is our new one. It's going to be A minor. Now let me show you how we're going to change from C major to A minor. Again, take your ring finger and put it just under your middle finger there. Okay, and follow the diagram to make sure you got it. Okay, that's easy. And then our last chord for the verse will be D. Simple. Okay, so these are the chords we're going to use for the song, uh, for the verse. I would like you to practice learning it and changing it with 
along on your own and then in the next portion we're going to play along with the song okay now that you have practiced changing the chords here comes the really fun part we're going to put everything together we have learned that the strumming pattern is once per beat like this you also learn how many times you need to change, you need to play that chord before the chord changes. So each chord is going to be four beats, except for the A minor and D, which are two beats each. Now, let's try it once without the song, okay? So only the first half of the verse is going to look like this. Okay, so make sure that you follow the sequence as written on the chord chart. Okay, now we're ready. Let's play along with the song. And you might be thinking, well, that's crazy. The song is so fast. How are we going to play along with it? Well, that's where the program comes in. What we're going to do is that we're going to decrease the speed of the song. And let's go at about 0.7 times okay so click the minus button make sure at it's zero at 70 percent or at 0.7 x depending on the app you're using this way when we play along the song we can play along with it because it's at a very comfortable speed now if you find that the speed i'm going at is too fast still all you need to do is just to slow it down a bit more and then go at your pace but use this video as an example of what you should be doing one more thing before we play along, there will be an extra 4 beats of G before we do our first G. That is our intro, just before he starts singing, so we're going to include that as well. So, let's start. Okay, that's it for the verse. Just have some fun with it, and we're going to tackle the chorus next. Okay, now that we have done the verse, let's take a look at our chorus. Let's listen to it first. You'll always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely. Girl, don't you know you can't escape me? Darling, cause you'll always be my baby And will linger on Time can't erase a feeling this strong No way you're never gonna shake me Ooh, darling, cause you'll always be my baby Okay, now the thing is, the strumming pattern will be exactly the same so the only question I will ask you is, how many beats were the chords? Okay, let's go through the answer. Each chord is going to be four beats each, except for the C and the D, they are going to be two beats each. Okay, so we have G first, C, E minor, and that C and D are going to be one, two, three four okay now one more trick question to ask you see that last e minor at the end of the first chorus how many beats was that e minor i hope some of you have noticed that it was substantially longer okay 
if you haven't go back to and listen to it that e minor is eight beats now why am i harping so much about this e minor one of the common mistakes that people make is that they tend to skip instrumental bits or the intro or the outro where there's no more singing i think it's good discipline to learn every part carefully and you need to figure out how many beats that e minor chord or that chord in the intro or the interlude is that's very important okay now that we have figured out how many beats does each chord last in the chorus i want you to practice through the chorus on your own from the g chord to that d chord uh, sorry to that e minor chord and then i'll see you in a practice session Okay, now that you have practiced the chorus chords, we are going to play along with the song. Again, let's slow down the song to 0.7 times or 70% of the speed. And I want you to play along with me, okay? Um, we're going to only play the chorus. Don't attempt to play from the verse to the chorus yet. We're going to isolate each new part. So here we go. Two beats. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that's it. That's the chorus. Just have some fun playing along with it. Now, uh, once you're done with the intro, the verse and the chorus, what I want you to do is to start from the top and play through from the intro all the way through to the end of the first chorus and see whether you can play the whole shot at one go just like that. Okay? Okay, now that we have played along with the verse and the chorus, um, that leaves us with the bridge. And that's what part two is going to be about. So stay tuned for part two, where we will learn how to tackle the bridge and complete the song. So I'll see you in the next video.